This poem is written in dedication to those of us who can't speak. Those of us who fear society's prevailing wind of opinion, of judgment. This poem is written in dedication to those of us who walk on Wellit Street at nine with a curfew of ten. Hoping for the best and praying some guy doesn't assault you and if he does, you've either been trained in self-defense, screams, running or relying on God. But sometimes all of that goes out the window and the only thing you can do is just shut up, be quiet, go swipe up on my telonym and tell me how weak I am, how small I am, how I'll be left to be a prostitute because staying silent and letting a guy grab my ass is my fault when he can see I'm uncomfortable and his friends act like the opposite of men in an attempt to not receive backlash. But no pain, no gain, up until the point it's someone else and not you. Violence creeps up the strings of society. It's mixed with culture, covered with a mask of religion at times. How can you say you serve God when creations are considered precious, considered to be worthy of value to serve, and you displace it and replace it with hurt, with a beguiling look of distaste at hearing your son's been abused or your daughter's been assaulted? It was not their fault. Don't point the finger at them when they have hands calming down traces of being touched in ways which no human should experience. It's sickening to think about, disgusting to picture. It creates a hotel of bad memories and serves cocktails to guests of abuse, violence. It's up on a billboard. The ads are running on your television screens, but you can't hear their targeted audience because they've been silenced. This poem is written in dedication to the directors, producers and crew who choose to condemn our shouts, our screams, our pleas to be heard. Release us from this booth. Allow us to speak, to act out our trauma because it's hard dealing with the violence, with the slaps across faces from parents, with the touching of ones we love in unsolicited ways, with the repeated phrases of damnation against us because we aren't cherished. Our scars make us ugly. Look away, turn back. I don't think you want to relate to this.